For the first time in human history, more than 50% of the world's population is living in cities. Today, some three dozen cities around the world, including New York, are considered megacities, urban centers of more than 10 million people, and a dozen more will be added to the list by 2030. All megacities have the same set of problems. Transit, housing, food supply, and of course water and wastewater services. At NYIT, we teach students the big picture. We show them issues that are relevant all around the world, but we're so fortunate to have New York City here to show how solutions have been crafted that could be used almost anywhere in one way or another. As the world becomes a, an urban place, one of the greatest challenges is figuring out how we're going to house people in a decent manner in these vast cities. And New York City has been doing this for over 100 years. You have places like affordable housing developments, but you also have an incredible mass transportation system with no equal in the United States. Tremendous new parks around the edges of New York City. There's a wide range of innovation. With forward-thinking curricula and conferences, NYIT students and faculty are addressing global sustainability, environment, and climate challenges that will have an impact on all megacities. As the temperature increases, hot cities will become a major challenge. 21st century uh, urban designers and architects will need to expand their toolkit to confront these kinds of challenges. Water is the lifeblood of any large urban area in the world. And so if you don't have adequate water and adequate wastewater treatment, you're not going to survive. NYT has enormous advantage for students who want to become urban designers because we have the opportunity to collaborate with this city that is undergoing massive transformation. We are a terrific platform for research. There's no better place than New York Institute of Technology to study urbanism, cities, and the growth of the global metropolis.